All of the good things, good things, only the good, good, good. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> oh, so I just got out of the shower and did my hair, blow dried it. Okay, so on to makeup. Also a big part in me deciding to make this video is because I am losing my mind stuck inside with my household members. I need some friends, I need some like friendly contact going on and I can't get that. I have to do it all over the phone right now and it's driving me insane. And I really hope this whole quarantine, COVID-19 thing is over soon because a girl is going crazy. Hopefully the sun doesn't go away during this video because it is in the evening and it is getting a little bit darker and I see some clouds. So I'm gonna try to go a little quick. The first thing that I do before doing anything, I apply the Clinique Dramatically Different Hydrating Jelly. So I'm gonna use the Glossier Future Do next. Like I barely use any of this i use a very small amount because a little goes a very long way with this stuff so i tend to just put this in areas that i really want to kind of like highlight or like where i would usually put my highlighter i will say for anybody that has dry skin i highly recommend getting the glossier future do especially in the winter time this was a huge lifesaver for me it hydrates your skin so much and it leaves you with like a glowy like dewy look it makes your skin look so healthy and like hydrated and moisturized so i highly recommend trying this out if you have dry skin so i'm gonna go in with concealer before i do anything i want to state you might not be able to see on camera but i do have some pretty dark circles my eyes are kind of set into my face a little bit more so before i apply foundation or anything like that i like to take a concealer. I'm using the NYX or NYX HD Photogenic Concealer and I am using this in the shade CW00. I believe it's alabaster. Yes. I like to just put some under my eyes. Blend that in real quick. And I'm just going to use my finger to blend this in. The difference that concealer makes is crazy. For my main face makeup, instead of using foundation, I have been steering more towards the tinted moisturizer side of things and skin tints. So I am using the Glossier Perfecting Skin Tint today, and this is in the shade G11. This is a little bit darker than my skin tone, but it is very sheer. So if you do want to try this out and order it online, you don't have to get an exact shade match. Also, I am using a good amount of Glossier products today, but this video is not sponsored, but I wish it was. That would be amazing. And then I'm going to go in with the Glossier Stretch Concealer, and I am using this in the shade G11 as well. And this concealer is very creamy, so I'm just going to go ahead and say that Glossier is very dry skin friendly. I'm going to go ahead and do my eyeshadow now. So I'm going to use my handy dandy modern renaissance palette that I've had for a very long time now since basically it came out using the brush that came with it and I'm going to use the shade raw sienna it's like a light brown orangey tone I'm going to put that all over the lid and then I'm blending this out with the blending brush side of the little brush that came with it I found just fell so the screen might look a little bit different because I had to like move it. Hopefully it doesn't fall again. So I'm gonna go in with the Glossier Boy Brow and this is in the shade Brown. It's getting darker now so I have to like move really quick. I'm gonna do my blush now. <laughs> I'm gonna go in with the Glossier Cloud Paint and this is in the shade Storm. And you have to really blend fast with this because this product dries very quickly, but it does stay on like all day long. Then I don't think I have time to do my eyeliner today, so I'm gonna curl my eyelashes. Oh, now it's starting to rain. Oh gosh. 
Okay, also, I have very, very straight eyelashes, so I have to curl my eyelashes for like a really long time <laughs> and multiple times throughout the day because they just go back to like straight as a board. And then I'm using the Maybelline Snap Scara. This is a waterproof version of the mascara, but I like this because it is a washable waterproof. It is like a tubing mascara, so when you go to wipe it off, and take it off at night, it kind of comes off in tubes instead of smearing everywhere like a lot of other waterproof mascaras that I've tried. For highlighter, I'm using the LA Girl Velvet Highlight Stick. And then I like to blend this in with my finger a little bit just so it's not such a harsh line wherever I put the highlight. going back and forth between the Glossier Generation G lipstick. This is in the shade Leo. It's like more of a brown toned lip color. I've been going back and forth between that and the ColourPop lippy stick in the shade Love Life. I think I'm actually going to go in with this one today. I'm going to use my mirror real quick. harsh upper lip with my lipstick so I'm gonna go soften this out real quick for anybody wondering what I mean by soften it out like how it's a little bit softer now on the top it's not as much of a harsh line I just like to take like blotting paper or like you can use like tissue paper so that it removes a little bit of the product so you don't have too much excess product on your lips and then it also kind of softens the edges around your lips as well I'm gonna go back and and curl my eyelashes again go in with my eyebrow brush real quick just to kind of fluff my eyebrows a little bit. Alrighty guys, so that is how I do my everyday makeup now. I hope you guys liked this video. Um, sorry the light changed so much and it got a lot darker really quickly. But yeah, I hope you guys liked today's video and I might try to make some more videos soon since I am kind of stuck inside with nothing to do except read and write and watch movies. So I'll probably make some more YouTube videos during this crazy quarantine time. I hope you guys are doing okay. Please try to stay calm. This will be over soon. Hopefully, eventually it will be over. I know it is super hard not being able to see your friends right now. So I've been having like FaceTime girls nights and stuff like that with friends where we like FaceTime and then we'll watch a TV show together. We'll be on the phone at the same time so we can like have commentary back and forth or we'll watch like one of our favorite movies or something. Still getting that interaction with somebody else that's not in your household. So that's a really positive thing and it's something that you could definitely try out if you're feeling a little bit lonely or isolated. I think that's it. Now the sun is coming back out, of course. I think that's it. I hope you guys like this video and see you guys later. <laughs>